dear black queen, you are everything a man could ever dream. You know, besides your, your beauty and your gracefulness, your strong will and faithfulness, you hold up a standard only a real man would challenge. But see, a boy, a boy you'd be intimidated by your independent mindset, and I really don't need a man attitude, but a man. A true man will show you what you really need, but a god sent man will show you where you're empty. But excuse me, black queen. See, I know the reason that you choose to accept anything in your presence. See, I know that your father walked out of your life. And he never looked back. And your mother, she was the one that was left to sacrifice to carry every burden that you had on your back. Men that you confided in, ones that was put in place to protect you, they only ended up hurting and neglecting you, so you searched for unconditional love, security, and stability, and you looked to feel belonging and to feel assured. And all the sanctified Christian folks around you telling you to put your eye to the sky, and you can find all that you need, so you fall on your knees, and you ask, and you pray, and you ask, and you pray, and then you listen. No answer. So you give up because it was figured that the same sanctified Christian folks telling you to look to God was the same ones that was blessed by God that had many lives that they did right by. So tell me, how can they tell you about the tears that you cried? Your heartache, your pain, the strength that you had to gain to look in your siblings face and feel like an outcast because you see that they had their dad. So you searched, you searched, and you searched for some form of love, but then you slowly start hating yourself because it's true and very obvious you that everyone else does. But you don't know the wealth that you carry. You don't know the magnitude of your being. You don't know the strength of your calling. So you fall. Nowhere to turn. Nowhere to look. You smiled so graciously on the outside. But the inside, you're like a pageless book. On the inside, it's like a black hole brewing, trying to take over and make a bit of you. Bedtime pillow soaked from helpless tears falling down your face. A little you sitting on the inside screaming to be heard. One day that little voice just fades away. That same day you decided to erase every part of your being, even the simple image of your face. And as that thought was still manifesting in your mind like a fresh spirit, a numbless body get up and you walk to your desk. And you grab a pen and a paper. And you begin to write what you want to call your final letter. Dear mom, I know you'd be sad, but this world be better off without me. Mom, this world will be just fine with one less Chelsea. Mom, I know I never told you this, but I love you. And I appreciate everything that you've done for me, but mom, this world is getting too cold. Demons I'm facing, they're getting too bold, so I'm done. And I will just see you again when God says it's your time to come. Handful of pills. Face full of tears. You tilt your numbless head back and you digest. And you wait. Nothing happened. Nothing but a cold jitter and a confused mind asking why. Then you hear a heavenly voice from above said, what makes you think that you could destroy something that I created? Something that I had called forth for greatness, my child. I heard your every cry, but you was too deafened by the flesh. You not hear me talking back. I've always been there giving you what you need. I was molding and shaping you, but you did not seek me. If I said in my word, then I know the plans that I had towards you. Plants are good and not a disaster to bring you future and hope in the days that you pray. I will listen. And if you look for me wholeheartedly, you will find me, my child. You are loved, and that's why you yet live. So, my queen, I say unto you, for your storm is almost over, but your struggle is not yet through. Queen, you are worth so much more than you choose to receive. So hold your head up, black queen, and look to God with ease. So now... When you look at me, you will no longer see just a black face. But you will see a divine creature who survived with a new faith.